So in the last video, we actually added some text along with the background, and we have our graphics set. I'm sitting here looking at this, and I'm thinking, well, the image just kind of competes with the text a little bit. So this is where, you know, putting it almost together like a puzzle. I'm going to move the word Australia up just a tad bit. Maybe put the continent at the bottom of the world, move it over to, using my selection tool, move it over to the margin as well. I'm just kind of aligning a few things up. Move this up a tad bit. And initially I increased the size of the image, but after looking at it, maybe I actually need to reduce this. So I'm going to pull this back up and actually grab a hold of the image and move it down below the text a little bit. When I turn the preview on, I can see what this looks like. Notice the title is great big. That will really grab your attention as far as that goes. Uh, so add a little bit more just to kind of art it up. I'm just going to go back to the rectangle tool and grab, just create another rectangle. Nothing fancy. I'm going to turn the stroke off, grab the fill color. I'm going to use my eyedropper trick again to pick a color, maybe something a little bit darker from the image. I didn't like that. Not dark enough for my taste. Let's go over something a little bit. That's too, too dark. Well, maybe something lighter. Yeah, I'm not happy with these colors, so I'm going to pick one from my library. Good enough. So just a slight shade off. I'm going to go to the word Australia, and I'm going to go add an effect. I'm going to go to Object, Effects, select Drop Shadow. I'm just going to go ahead and select the default value, and you can see pops that off the screen a little bit more. Last but not least, I don't want to forget the author's name, so I come over and highlight Jeremiah Johnson. I do an Apple C for Edit Copy. Come back over to InDesign with my Type tool. I'm just going to draw a little box down here. Do an Edit Paste. And I'm going to use the same font, capitals. Again, I like that. I just double click the corner. Notice when I double click the corner of the, the box, it pulls itself right up to the size. I'm also going to increase the size of the font here in a, in a nice way. If you hold the Apple key down and the Shift key at the same time, grab a corner, you can start to pull and notice it automatically creates the size. It increases it or Apple Shift and reduce back because I thought it was a little too big. Highlight the text again, go up to the Type Color tool, and I'm going to select that same yellow that we created early on, and put him near the margin guide. So everything is left aligned. That's just me um, setting this up. And if I go to Preview Mode, this is what we have so far. See that little block right there doesn't look too bad with that shade kind of breaks it up a little bit, gives a, gives a neat look. Nice and clean design. The more I look at it, I think, well, since this is a travel guide, it would be nice to maybe throw a couple more graphics on there. So I'm going to go back to normal mode and click. And I'm going to go to my rectangle frame tool. I'm going to hold the shift key down and draw a square in order to place another graphic in there. So with this selected, I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Place, and I'm going to navigate out to the desktop where I had a couple other images, um, and I'm going to select Pick Number 2. And this is a picture of a koala bear, but it's very, very large. So I'm going to do Command minus on my keyboard to zoom out, 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 and you can see, look how large that image is. But, since I clicked on the donut or the content grabber, I'm going to come up to the corner of this image, and I'm going to hold down the shift key. And in a minute, I'll show you how to scale down. 